Hey guys, welcome back to your ninth video, your FET recap by Soka Say So. It's been a little while. Um, I think I said that last video, um, but this time it was due to a little bit of illness <laughs> and um, a lot of work going on. So keeping busy is always great. Um, so I've got recaps from a few weeks ago. Um, nothing from this past weekend because I stayed home. Fancy that. Somebody know how to stay their hot foot at home. Hmm. So we'll go back to April 18th. April 18th was a Friday and um, I went to Elegant Fridays at East Savoy, um, which was not 100% soca, but um, DJ M1 was spinning um, some sweet soca tunes. Um, I didn't stay there the whole night, but it was a nice vibe in there. Um, if you haven't been to East Savoy in Brooklyn, East Savoy is a nice little spot. Um, it's not too big. It's not too small. Um, it's got a nice bar. Um, I know they serve food. I haven't eaten the food there, um, but it was nice. Um, and like I said, I enjoyed, enjoyed uh, DJ M1 uh, as usual, um, playing music from uh, more than just one country. So that was good. Um, and then I scooted over to Matrix Lounge for uh, Spring Wine, um, hosted by DJ Tragic. And um, there were, I saw maybe three DJs, and I'm sorry, but the first DJ, I couldn't, I didn't catch his name. Um, but I saw Spoil Brats um, and DJ Tragic. And I'm pretty sure I'm missing a part of that Spoil Brats name, but you'll correct me and you'll let me know. Um, I had it a good time, um, but I'm tired of the high school parties. And by high school parties, I don't mean the age of the crowd because I, I really don't care what the age of the crowd is, but it's the mentality of the crowd. Um, it's not even high school, it's junior high. When I walked in, it was just like a circle around the club, around the dance floor. Nobody wanted to dance in the middle. And I don't mean that you have to be on show, but um, everybody should just be dancing together and have a, having a good time. You know, even if it's five people in the room, if it's a hundred people in the room, everybody should just be dancing and enjoying the music because that's what you came here for. Otherwise, I don't know what you come out your house for on a Friday night. So it took a while for the crowd to warm up, even though the music was, was flowing and the drinks was flowing. I don't get it. Um, eventually they did. Um, there was a mainly Beijing crowd, so when they started playing some Beijing tunes, it got even hotter in there. Um, and then I enjoyed myself um, to the fullest. Um, and then on April 19th, the Saturday, um, there was Licorice at Cascades. Now listen. I was waiting, waiting, waiting for Cascades. The, it was a, it sounded like a good concept. The concept was um, uh, free drinks all night. Um, I mean, you pay for drinks based on your ticket price, but you don't have to come out your pocket when you're inside the club all night. Every hour is going to be a different drink that was going to be um, free for the um, for the night. Um, you walk in, you get a cup, and you just have to keep getting that cup refilled, right? Sounds awesome, right? They had big DJs on the lineup, so I was very excited about going. And then, first, of, first thing was my fault. I went there really late. Um, I got there about 1.30, and then there was a line outside. Um, luckily, the line moved pretty quickly, um, but I got to security, and security was out out of control, I thought. Um, I don't know what you guys party and what y'all do, but I'm used to the full body search and them touching your privates. Um, but this time, um, the security guard was in my bra. I've never had that before. If you had that before, let me know where that happens and I'm not gonna go there. Um, when I told her she should at least tell somebody that she thinks they're gonna be in her, in her underwear, she was, she didn't care what I had to say. Excuse me, miss, you could leave or you could get searched the way we're going to get search you. Um, excuse me, I don't buy a ticket for two, two months in advance so that you can tell me that I, don't, I can't come in because you're going to be searching all kind of reckless ways. Um, I think if you're going to have that kind of search, you need to tell the patron, listen, I'm going to be a little invasive, but it's just for your security. It was just a shock to, to the system more than anything else. Um... 
So that was that. Then I got in and it was Ram Jam Pat. Um, Q Kez Ram Jam. Um, when I tell you packed in there, like I can't move. I can't get to the, the bar. I got to the bar. It was like 10 people deep. Um, the only thing, there were a lot of bartenders. So it didn't take forever, but um, I did get to the front um, and I got my one drink. And honestly, I was in there for 10 minutes. I couldn't do it. It was way too crowded. And I mean, you couldn't move comfortably and you just felt like you were in someone's way and you were, you know, gonna get into some sort of issue at some point. Um, um, kudos to Maddie. You know, you did the thing. You had the place packed. Um, the people seem to be having a good time, but they're not, they weren't having too much of a good time because you can't really move. Um, but next year, bigger, better, better place, I guess. It was at Cascades in Brooklyn, which is a big venue. Um, so again, kudos to Maddie. I saw him at the bar when I was getting my drinks and I wanted to give him a shout, but uh, I let him alone because he was very, very busy. Um, so that was um, my Saturday. Uh, oh, I tried to go to... Um, uh, Savage. I tried to go to Savage at Tiki Village when it, I just couldn't vibe with um, licorice. And I got there and the security said they weren't letting any people in anymore. So I went back to my car and as I'm driving away, then they started letting people in. Oh, what are you going to do? So that's why I went home and my Instagram picture was... So that was a very disappointing Saturday. Um, it is what it is. Can't win them all. Um, and then on August 24th was a Thursday. Uh, I went out on a school night, uh, to vice after work, um, in Manhattan and it was a nice vibe. It was a nice.